Study, reflect, and listen to the Lord. Let Him direct your steps. That's how you treasure each day. Hello, and welcome to episode three. My name is Kimber Nation, and this episode is about how can you be the best version of yourself. I want to introduce to you today my friend Trisha Haskell, who is with us, to tell her story. If you don't mind, would you begin with uh, what first brought you to taking better care of yourself, like maybe even with your okay. surgery? Okay. Um, I, through life experiences and, and sadness and depression, um, gained weight to the amount of 350 pounds. I'm 5'7", so that's... No, I lied. I'm 5'6". <laughs> so, um, so that's a lot of extra weight carrying around on my body. Um, and multiple diets, many, many, many diets, lots of diets. Okay. Um, they didn't work, huh? Didn't work. Um, didn't work tried everything. Um, trying to even remember what some of them were called. What That's was that? Okay. Apple cider pill? Or, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I tried every diet I can think of. Um, they did not work. So finally, I opted for the gastric bypass. It's invasive. It's it's pretty big deal. Um, had to see three different doctors to be approved for it. Wow. And um, went and had my gastric bypass. And in one year, I was at 140 pounds. Wow. Yeah. So you went, I mean, more than half of your... I lost a whole body. Yeah, a yeah. whole body. A whole person. So how how did that affect you? I mean, mentally, physically? Um, I, 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 uh, that's a great question. Um, I can just tell you experiences. Mm -hmm. Best is the best way to tell you is um, where I worked, you would walk in and there was a wall of mirrors. Mm -hmm. And um, one day I walked in and I saw myself mm -hmm. and I thought it was someone else and I was looking around. Oh, who's in the so lobby with me? And, and I had to stop and I realized it was me and, wow. and I was so much smaller, I didn't recognize myself. Wow. Um, so for me, that was like this aha moment of you did it. You, wow. you did it. Good. Um, so accomplishment. Yes. And, and I felt I felt pretty again. Um, and, and I hate that women that have weight issues don't feel pretty. But that is a reality. And um, society doesn't help with that. Does That's it? right. Um, so through all that, what the gastric bypass does is it makes you not able to eat very much. Um, you told me the size of your stomach. The is... size of my stomach is the size of a grown man's thumb. Wow. Um, That's tiny. Yeah, the, the first meal I had that was real food was a chicken nugget from McDonald's. One? One, and I was stuffed. Um, oh my goodness. It was kind of funny. The best way to describe it is, you know, when you do Thanksgiving dinner and you yeah. feel like you need to lean back and I'm right. your pants, you see the guys doing that? Right. That's how I felt with one chicken nugget. Wow. And it was like... Wow. So do you save a lot of money on grocery bills? At first. <laughs> <laughs> At first, no, that's true. Um, but you have to learn to eat the right things, too. Because yeah. drinking orange juice and feeling your little tiny stomach is pure sugar oh. and pure carbs. And then your body goes into what's called dumping. Okay. And you get shaky or because your blood sugar level is so high, um, your body can't process it. Okay. And so you have to be very careful to eat proteins and car uh, no carbs and no sugars okay um so nutrition becomes pretty big deal and they taught you some of these things after the fact yes we were talking before why isn't this information taught before going on yeah. to people yeah um you're talking about the things like like iron. iron iron is absorbed with the help of vitamin c but if you take vitamin d it blocks it from absorbing okay and you you learn that when you're so low on iron because you can't eat enough to support a, a, an adult body. Okay. You have to be more aware of getting that iron in in those few bites you get each day. Okay. And so um, you got to learn what forces it to absorb. Okay. And, and and like I told you, I feel like if I had learned that a long time ago, I might have been able to adjust it myself. Right. Um, doctors say their thoughts are that your stomach is this big or, or whatever it is and to kick in um, metabolism, you have to stretch it. So you're eating so much food to make this stomach stretch that you've eaten too much. And so they say there's no way around it and that's why it's considered um, a disease and they have to make your stomach smaller so that you can retrain your body to kick in the metabolism. Okay. Um, but when you're when it's this big, literally, your nutrition is, is 
most important. Right. And you have to eat high quality food in your little bits. Trisha, can you tell us how have you learned to take care of your body and why is that so important? Oh, I don't feel like I'm a great example of this, but um, uh, through the surgery, I learned that exercise is crazy important. Um, and I also shared this with you, but um, I'm not an exerciser. That's why I got so overweight in the first place. But um, my doctor had said to me about 40 pounds down, um, what are you doing to exercise? And I said, I'm not an exerciser. That's how I got here. And he says, well, now you have to be. And okay. I was like, dude, that's not who I am. And he said, you've lost 40 pounds. So next time you go to the grocery store, I need you to pick up two 20 pound bags of dog food, put them up on your shoulders and do your shopping. Wow. And, and I was like, cause that was the equivalent of the 40 pounds. That was the equivalent you lost. of how much I'd lost. And he made me realize that people who are overweight are working out literally just surviving and living day to day. Um, wow. and so when I lost that weight, I no longer was working out as hard. Mm -hmm. And so my body would not, I needed to step it back up. Gotcha. So, um, so I learned that, that exercise is far more valuable than I've given it um, credit for. Okay. And so you'd, you'd really been doing it all along. You just didn't realize it. Right. And now I was gone. Right. And so now I was even more sedentary than I was before, even though I could do things that I couldn't do before. Makes sense. And so, um, so that's a good perspective for me. Um, I've seen the videos or, or video or what are they called? Demonstrations where people show a pound of fat looks like yeah. this. That yeah. one never mattered to me, mm -hmm. but the 40. picking up the 20 pounds is heavy as right. it is. And when you put two on you, it's like, Oh wow, that's a lot. And if you just walked around like that now today, that's a workout. Right. So, right. Um, so, so yeah, I've learned that that's important. Um, the nutrition, of course, is always important. Keeping that, keeping that at optimal levels. Um, that's what I. Well, I noticed when when we eat and we share a meal together, you take small bites and you eat slowly and right. I it's helped me slow down because I mean I said just used to just inhale my food and that's not healthy and I know that and I've also you know been a little convicted that I just need to focus on one thing at a time I think sometimes as women especially we fool ourselves in thinking that we are multitaskers and we have to by necessity but we don't have to on everything we can choose to focus on one thing at a time and I'm trying to be more purposeful in that and when I'm eating I'm eating. I'm not trying to sit there and scroll through Facebook and do other mm -hmm. things or replying to text messages. I just want to focus on eating. Um, when I am resting, I just need to rest and not do anything else. When I'm watching TV with my family, I want to just do that. I still need to work on that because I'm guilty of we checking are. my emails and doing some other things while I'm just sitting there, especially during commercials, right? Yes. But yeah, thank you so much for being willing to, to come on here today and share your, your awesome. story. Um, Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned for more from Nation Station.